first of all, what is your reaction to what happened on October the 7th? You know, it's just like those Palestinians, they're very dramatic. Ah, Israel killing us. Uh, but they never die. I mean, they always come back. You know, they're, they're very difficult to kill, very difficult people to kill. I, I, I was watching your interview with Ben Shapiro, and I'll tell you one thing. Yeah. I think that Ben Shapiro is one of the smartest people who ever walked this earth. When he came out on your show, his solution was, and I quote, his solution was that the solution for this is for Israel to annex Gaza and to kill as many son of bitches as possible to make sure that this will never happen again. I agree with Ben Shapiro. I think we should kill as many son of bitches as possible. Well, let me, so okay. far, but Basa, three, let me, uh, three, no, no, so, so, so far, 3,500 people were killed, mm. including 5,000 son of bitches in the bombing of the Baptist uh, 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 hospital as we speak right now. Mm. One third of those 3,500 were children. So my question to Ben Shapiro is, how many more son of bitches do we need to kill so Ben Shapiro is happy? Okay. In 2014 was a great year for Ben Shapiro. 88 Israelis were died and there was 2,329 Palestinians killed on the other side. That is one Israeli for 27 uh, Palestinians. That is a very good exchange rate. What I'm saying is, what is the exchange rate well, for I, today well, I, so I, you guys will be happy? That's my question. Well, it's not me. In 2018, 300 Palestinians died. Ah, who's counting, you know? I feel that the scale of what Hamas did on October the 7th supersedes anything else I've seen in this conflict, really, ever. If you were Israel, what would uh, you... If I was Israel. If you were Israel and that had happened to you, what would you uh -huh. think would be the appropriate way for the country to respond? I would do exactly like Israel did, kill as many people as possible since the, the, the world is letting me do it. I mean, I, I can do it because I can. Let's, for a minute, imagine a world without Hamas. Right. What will this word look like? Mm. Let's give this word a name, and let's name this word the West Bank. Hamas has absolutely no control in the West Bank. And since the beginning of this street, only through August, 37 Palestinian kids were killed. Mm. No music festival, no paragliding, no Hamas. Mm. Since the occupation of the West Bank, 7,000 Palestinians were killed. No music festival, no paragliding, no Hamas. Mm. I can go on and on and on and on. No, no, but you think it's like... I, well, in the sense I, I know, say, I know that what you're saying has validity, of course. Of uh, course Pierce, I do. Pierce, by the way, Pierce, 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 I am at a disadvantage here. I can hear you, I cannot see you. Mm. I am in a claustrophobic room. And so please cut, cut me some slack and don't interrupt me and interrupt my point. Sure. So, uh, because it's, this, this has to be fair. Understand. Uh, because if you want to only hear your opinion, I can just condemn Hamas and go home. Mm. I can do that. So if you, do you want to do that or do you have a much more nuanced conversation? No, I absolutely want to have a nuanced conversation. I wasn't aware I was interrupting you. I thought I was letting you speak. Amazing. So I heard, I heard Ben Shapiro and I heard Ron DeSantis and they said, they said Israel is the only military force in the world that warns civilians before bombing them. I mean, how fucking cute. And, and look, I, you know... It I does, so, so, so there's some collateral damage. Lots of collateral damage. Yes. It's fine, yeah. You kill, you kill some to save some and then kill some more. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My well, question to you is... I know. What, I, what would, be, what would yeah, you think would be an appropriate response by Israel to what happened? Well, well the, these are years of disproportionate responses of Israel. Right. Did it solve the solution? Did it solve the problem? Did it, did it work before so it will work? What, what will be the surprise this time? What will be the twist that will make this work this time? What? What will be different this time? Seriously, I mean, like, this is only the last 15 years. I mean, because it's too, too many people said that spreading lies, like WMDs, make mm. people look at those people as less of humans, and they would accept the death of a million Iraqi, whether by no, sanctions or by invasion, right? And you know what is similar? Is when you spread the lies of 40 decapitated babies, although it was refuted. So what happens when people hear that, you know, killing babies is horrible. But when you say decapitated 40 babies, you are planting a certain image well, who has a said certain that? trigger in people's mind. Who has said huh? that? Who has said 40... Who has said that? You who have said, said 40 decapitated... Who has said you that? Have, you have repeat... No, no, I haven't. What? I've never said that. You haven't said on your show 40 decapitated no. babies? Never. Ben Shapiro didn't say it? No. Ron DeSantis didn't say Nobody it? Nobody has said okay, it. Okay, uh, Pier... No, they Nobody haven't. said it? No. Oh, OK. OK, maybe I am wrong. Decapitated. Yeah, you're thing. wrong. I've never said the that. The thing, what happened, what, ha yeah, what, what, no, you're, you're wrong. 
And the thing is, it is it is not like something new. I mean, I, I I look at history and I see. I'm sorry to say, and I'm sorry to say this, but Westerners has always dealt like this with indigenous people. You first treat them like savages, you know, Native American, First Nation, Aboriginal. They're savages. Kill all the savages, and then when they're almost extinct, you start feeling sorry for them, you know, like animals. So maybe maybe the solution is that we kill as many Palestinians as possible so the few of them that remains do not bother you. And you October the 7th was like savages, like a pack of savages. It was the worst atrocity against Jewish people yes. since the Holocaust. There has to be... Of course. There has to be a response. They, and my they question should be eradicated. Is, my question for you is, notwithstanding the, the history, Basim, what is the proportionate response? But I don't know, but there's no Hamas in the West Bank and they're still dying there. So what's mm. your excuse? I'm telling you, there is no Hamas in the West Bank. What is, what is the excuse, mm. not your excuse? What is the excuse to kill those people? The mm. question of proportionality is one that... No, 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 answer my question! I've been answering your question, you answer mine. It's actually not my job to answer your questions. It's not. OK, not your, not your job. Not. I, I would, if this will make Israel safe, I want to hear the logic. So if they continue bombing, what are they hoping to achieve? Well, this I think what, we, know what what we know what their stated aim is. Their stated aim is to eradicate yes. and wipe out Hamas. They believe Hamas no, are, yeah, living, but... are living predominantly in northern Gaza. They also are aware they're living amongst civilians. So it's an incredibly difficult okay. thing. As, so, I said, as I said so, in my so monologue, so, 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 you know, it is so very, very so difficult to see how I, they do I, this I, without I, massive collateral if damage. Can, so if I can understand this correctly, basically Israel is doing this to pressure the Palestinian community in Gaza to turn against Hamas. Is that right? I'm sure that's part of it, yes. That's part of it. So this is exactly what terrorist organizations do, because terrorist organizations will have no chance beating a whole nation in battle. So they terrorize and they kill the civilians in order to spread fear and terror so they can turn against their government to change their policy or to resign. You have just compared Israel with ISIS. I don't, I don't see any comparison between it's Israel It's going to be ISIS. the headlines tomorrow. Piers yeah, think, Morgan, no, it's not, it's Israel not. is ISIS. Lots only, of ISIS. Only amongst people who weren't listening. Israel always victimizes itself, and I have never seen a victim putting their oppressor under siege and bombing them 24-7. Israel wants you to believe that they are the victim. Is I want to say two things. One, if you could just slightly manage your language. We are uncensored, but if you keep swearing... I am very sorry. We I have am, to apologise to viewers. You may so be sorry. offended by that. I uh, the old swear I, I word. I apologise to the um, viewers. I apologise to the viewers for my language. I, my second question the, is this. The, after the, the, the sight of, uh, of dead civilians. After the break, we have the managing director of The Daily Wire. Any rational person, any decent person, can engage in a conversation about what is the appropriate response for Israel. Of course they can. Uh, but this sort of moral equivalency thing, I don't think is a sign of decency to engage in a conversation okay. about moral equivalency. Let me bring uh, Basim back in. You've been listening to this, Basim. What's your response to what Jeremy's been saying? I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't catch the gentleman's name. It's Jeremy Boring. He's the chief executive of The Daily Wire and co-founder with Ben Shapiro of The Daily Wire. Hi, Jeremy. Please say hello to Ben Shapiro and please tell him that I do think he is the smartest person to ever walk the earth. Thank you so much. So as response to Jeremy... Uh, I, 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 I agree with everything you said. I mean, what is disproportionate? I mean, the, you, he just used the uh, examples from Second World War and America showing that civilian casualty is... Uh, uh, I mean, I, I heard his voice. He was very sad, and he, as he was telling us, it is so inevitable to kill so many civilians because it's something that we cannot avoid. I hear the sadness in his voice, and I know that it's a very difficult decision to kill all of these civilians, because that's for a higher cause. And I understand, but my question, I, I have two questions. The question is, how can you justify the killing in the West Bank where Hamas does not exist? And if the disproportionate response uh, during the, uh, over all of these years have actually worked, what will be new this time that did not happen before? I okay. just want to... Uh, that, 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 that was my question. OK, that Basim, was my question. Uh, I'm going to... OK, I'm so, gonna so, ask... so, so now, so so Basim, now, so now if to... I ask the question, can I, can I say something on my side? Well, a little you've, bit personal? No, Basim, with respect, a little bit had, personal? Basim, with respect, I gave you half the show to have your side. Jeremy's had a lot less time. Uh, I am going oh, to have to You want me on. to leave? Basim, I'm going to have stay? to... I'm going to have to let you go because we've been on there with you for 40 minutes oh, OK, bye-bye. But listen, bye bye. bye I'd bye. like to talk to you again, bye and bye. thank you for joining the program. I appreciate it. Basim, as I, I say, know, we, I, we, we we hear their voices. Yeah, and it's uh, they they die. It's fine. It's I'm, fine. Basim, I wish your family all the very best. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate no, it. I, I don't. Thank you.